Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Ashley J. Aaron and as you can see from the intro, today's video we are working on some kitchen organization. We are giving this pantry that is so disgusting and such a hot mess a complete makeover. So we are going to start by, I wanted to show you how nasty the walls are. So we started off by taping the ceiling and here are some close-up shots. This is what I was talking about when I say build grade paint it's like ceiling paint it just absorbs everything and it's not washable so I wanted to start this video off with a fresh coat of paint some high quality paint something I can wipe down because pantries do get messy because they contain food so you should be able to wash it down Before I share any more, I wanted to let you know that today's video is a collab with my friend Caroline from Basic Baha'i. I know you will love her channel. I am obsessed. She has some of the best before and afters. She is a self-proclaimed organization dork obsessed with Harry Potter. She made it her mission to transform the home her grandpa left in her care. YouTube is her way of sharing that journey. Caroline also loves crafting, home decor, and DIYs, so make sure you head over to her channel. I will leave her video in my description box and make sure you let her know that I sent you. You guys will love her. All right, before we get into the organization, I just wanted to show you some of the products that I'm going to be using today to organize and make over this pantry. I actually have this cabinet that I want to put at the bottom. I love the distressing on it. I'm hoping to put things like potatoes and onions and any of like the kids' snacks. Next up, I have this three canister set. And then my biggest piece that I absolutely love is this food storage container set. It also comes with chalk markers and then these glass bottles. This is just gonna help me put everything in brand new containers so that I can see my inventory. But first we are gonna start by putting this in the cabinet and then we are going to start filling all of these new canisters. So one tip that I recommend when filling your canisters, check all of your expiration date on your items. You are going to want to put the newest item at the bottom and the oldest on the top. That way you are using what you need to before it expires. If you are here from Caroline's channel, I just wanted to stop and say welcome. Thank you so much for being here. My name is Ashley. I am a married mama of two girls. I love homemaking videos 
anything to do with cleaning, organization. My real passion lies in decorating. So if that is what you are into, make sure you check my description box and I will have a playlist of all of my seasonal decorating videos for you to check out. If you are enjoying today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, I would love for you to stick around and become a part of my YouTube family. So if you are enjoying this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are organizing alongside with me today, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know what you are organizing. I love to hear what everybody's working on. I feel like in January, it's always such a good time to just clear out spaces after the holidays. You build up so much stuff. So before we move on, I am going to put my containers in here before I actually label them. I wanna see which way they go best. That way I know which side to put the labels on. This is all of the food that I am hoping will fit into the pantry today. We did a little bit more grocery shopping because we needed to stock up on a few things. So before we move any further, I wanted to show you that my top shelf, I am using this as my baking shelf. Now that we have everything in here and organized, I can move on and start wiping down cans, checking expiration dates to make sure that nothing is expired, and then adding these into the pantry. I just wanted to mention that if you decide to purchase these canisters that I'm using that I showed you at the beginning of the video, it does not, the large container does not fit a family size box of cereal. So I know this brand also creates um, a larger boxed cereal like container. So I think in the future I may purchase something like that because my husband and my children, they love cereal. So I'm definitely gonna need something a little bit bigger, but for today I felt like this worked. So we'll just keep the excess on the side. Now I am going to start adding the sticker labels to the front of the containers. So as you can see from the beginning of the video, my pantry was a hot mess to begin with. I just never really had set up a organization system. I think it's because I just really wasn't like familiar with what I wanted. So I needed to do like more research. And then my mom purchased me one set of these containers and that was all it took. I swear sometimes it's like one small gift 
or something from somebody will inspire an entire like makeover of one area. So that is how we ended up with this today. And then after using this system and seeing how effective it really is, how everything is clear, you really can just check your inventory. It's gonna make grocery shopping so much easier because you're not having to go through boxes and seeing what is empty, what is full. I feel like it's gonna be more cost effective in the end and I feel like I'm gonna end up doing this system throughout the entire kitchen. Now I am gonna start organizing the bottom of the pantry. We are gonna start by adding these potatoes into this bin. And next to this bin, I am actually gonna put the onions. And I know that you are not supposed to store potatoes and onions next to each other, but we go through them pretty quickly in our house so they don't have a chance to go bad. I think ultimately I'm going to add an additional shelf all the way at the top. If you saw earlier, there is a lot of wasted space at the top. I think this extra shelf would just really help for paper items like napkins, paper plates, things like that. So next I'm just going to start adding a few things in here. I actually don't end up liking the way that this turned out at all. So I end up taking it out and putting something else in there instead. This is why it's good to just kind of try things, live with it even a couple days, see what works best for you and your family, what makes it the most functional. That's why a lot of times spaces in my house are kind constantly changing. I'm gonna finish putting these away and you can see everyone is dying for me to be done with this pantry. So here is a quick shot before we move on to the next cabinet into the kitchen just to see where we are at. So now I am going to take all of these liquids out of their original containers and put them in the new glass containers. The opening is not very wide. So if you decide to purchase these containers as well, I recommend putting like a bowl or something underneath cause this vinegar smelled horrible. So I am gonna use this chalkboard marker to write on the front of each bottle so we know what every item is. Baby, 
I love the way that this turned out putting each liquid into a new glass jar. It just looks so beautiful now that everything matches. And I also feel like it saves a lot of space because you're not using the large bulky packaging. Now that I'm looking back, I can see all those signs I tried to fill in the cracks that were spread in my mind, but I was all out of hope. Because my pantry was such a mess, this cabinet kind of became an overflow. As you can see, I still have some of my seasonal Christmas coffee mugs and things in here. So the best way to organize and declutter a space is you are going to take everything out, remove it, wipe down all of the shelves, determine what you want to keep, what you want to get rid of, and start from there. It just makes it so much easier when you have a blank canvas. Now I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna throw away everything that I don't wanna keep, all of this old candy and stuff from Christmas, and then I'm going to take these Christmas mugs and put them in a bin so I can store them for next year. Now that I have finished decluttering everything and putting what I want to keep into new containers, I am just gonna go through and start putting them back into the cabinet and seeing where it fits best. I also have a child with a nut allergy, so I am keeping a lot of our nuts and things like that that she's allergic to at the highest shelf away from her. All right guys, here is the finished pantry. I don't know if you guys remember from the beginning how horrible it looked. There was no system in place at all. And now we have a very, very good system. I feel like this is gonna make grocery shopping and cooking so much easier. But before we go any further, I just wanted to do a quick tour. So on the top shelf, we have all of our flour, sugar, coffee, powdered sugar, stuff that we use for breakfast that is gonna be on the top shelf. Above this will be where I put that shelf I was telling you earlier. Then our next shelf down, this is the stuff that the kids can reach. We have our snacks, our side dishes, and our canned goods. I love the way that this shelf turned out. I feel like getting rid of all of that packaging just really helped to consolidate all of our ingredients into one nice little basket. So I am just loving the way that this turned out, especially with the chalk marker. So we were able to label everything. And then next to that, we have all of our crackers and side dishes and items we use the most, especially like chips. Then on the bottom, we have our paper towels and napkins. We have some ramen and extra chips in this container. 
Next to that is going to be my youngest daughter, some of her ramen, and then also some extra bottles that didn't fit in the basket. And on the bottom, we are going to have our onions, a few more side dishes, and our potatoes. This cabinet was mostly just decluttering and organizing and keeping any unsafe items away from Bianca. So this cabinet may change a little bit. I wanna get more storage for the tea bags and things like that, but for now, I feel like it's so much better than what we started with. Alright guys, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope it gave you tons of ideas and some motivation to declutter and organize your space. Make sure you check out Caroline's video in my description box and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.